it's that time of year again. Linus is awaiting the arrival of the great pumpkin, and there's pumpkin beer. Huh? So today on Chewing the Brew, I'll do a quick comparison of, well, quick, ha ha ha. That's probably my most frequent joke. Um, two pumpkin beers and a pumpkin hard cider. Um, I included the cider because I think there's a better chance that it's actually gonna turn out tasty because ciders are made from fruits and vegetables and beers less so. And none of these are pumpkin spice beers, for what it's worth. Um, I understand pumpkin spice beers are a thing. Specifically, we have the Hopworks. Uh, you might remember them from the uh, prickly pear, the prickly pear beer. Let's rotate these. Sorry, I'm trying a new lighting setup that hopefully can give me proper lighting while still having windows open because it's absolutely gorgeous outside. Um, but I'm trying to be more aware of shadows because of that. Anyways, so Hopworks, um, Great Gourds of Fire. It is specifically a fire roasted pumpkin ale with spices. Then Howling Gourds, which is actually by Joseph Brow, which is um, Trader Joe's own brewing company. I knew Trader Joe's had like did uh, licensed beers by other breweries um, and some of them are generally quite good. I wasn't aware until yesterday afternoon that they have their own brewery. So that's interesting. And then One Tree Hard Cider, Pumpkin Hard Cider. And um, we'll probably go, you know, I'm probably gonna do it in this order just because I don't want to blow my taste buds out with the first ones. And now also with my trusty glass of water to wash my mouth out. Mouth out. So. Um, first off, Howling Gourds, a pumpkin ale by Joseph Brow Brewery, which is Trader Joe's own brewery. Hmm, the pour is very effervescent. It's very nice. Um, pumpkin colored. I'm smelling pumpkins. I'm smelling like uh, freshly opened pumpkins. So that's, that's a positive thing. Uh, light amber. Definitely pumpkin colored, so that's good. And yeah, I can smell the spices. When you get your nose in deep, the spices might over, um, like cover over the actual pumpkin flavor, uh, pumpkin smell. But further away, what you smell is a subtle but definite freshly opened pumpkin. Uh, fading maybe to like a pumpkin puree. Mm. Shaved my mustache this morning, and, or trimmed it, and now I've got hair. <laughs> Great. And I can't see up close very well. <laughs> Tough, I got it out. <laughs> Let's try this again. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so there's definitely pumpkin there, but it's more on the finish, on the back end. You, I'd kind of want it juicy up towards the front. There's a, a funky bitterness that doesn't really mix very well. Um, it tastes tinny, which it really shouldn't. Um, but I, I don't know, it doesn't have a made on date, but it does say it's best before next May. Yeah, next May, 528 of 2023. So I assume it's not too old, um, but it feels, it feels a bit confused. The smell is good. The initial drink is good, but then it's, it's let down by kind of an unpleasant finish. So that's Howling Gourds Pumpkin Ale by Joseph Brow Brewing. Let's move on to Hopworks. Now, if you'll recall, my experience with Hopworks previously is with their um, prickly pear uh, sour, which I described as tasty, but confused. Um, it had a lot of really good elements and overall was 
pleasant to drink, but it was a bit disconnected. There were different parts of it that really didn't have anything to do with each other. This is a bit darker and far cloudier. It's not clear at all um, than the than the Howling Gourds. And it smells drier. I maybe smell some earthiness. I don't really smell much else. The head's hanging pretty pretty long, and the head is a, a cream color. It's a uh, it's got a bit of a tan or reddish tint to the head itself. Yeah, there's maybe just some earthiness. I'm not smelling pumpkin in the in the nose. It doesn't smell bad. It's just it doesn't smell like much. I take that back. So there's an earthiness. Like there's nothing from up here. But when you dive in, it it doesn't smell like pumpkins. Maybe it's a tinge of the roast. Um, I don't know if they roasted the ale or roasted the malts or roasted the pumpkin. I assume they roasted the pumpkin, but the the verbiage is unspecific. It could be they roasted the malts or it could be they roasted the ale, though that would be weird. Um, so maybe there's a hint of roastiness and just a hint of earthiness, but there's no pumpkin to the nose at all. Hmm. That's just a darn tasty beer. That tastes like fall. That tastes very good. Yeah. So it has that earthiness. It has a bit of roastiness. I'm not really picking up pumpkin per se, but I'm guessing that the roasted pumpkin is bringing this nice, unctuous, um, roasted, I mean, you roast any sort of squash and it just tastes amazing. And that's really what I'm getting here is the roasty flavors. And it's like, it, it's, it feels like a kind of a, a fest beer or a marzen kind of thickness. So you're not like going full on stout or porter, you know, a liquid meal. You're looking at a, a moderately, you know, a brown ale kind of thickness. And, but there's, there's a really nice earthy, um, harvested plants kind of flavor and, and, uh, just character to this beer. That's quite nice. And there's no unpleasant palate, like finish. Um, that's a really good beer. That's a really good beer. I like that one a lot. That's quite good. So let's uh, rinse out one more time. And pour the cider. Pumpkin cider, as I understand it, is exceptionally historic. It's been around forever. Um, you know, gourds grow everywhere, and they're easy to grow, and they don't take much maintenance, and they have the sugar necessary to turn into cider. So um, the cidering process isn't particularly difficult. You squeeze it, make a juice, maybe boil it to extract a broth, um, and then you turn it into cider. So as I grossly oversimplify that, but I'm wondering, is this actually fully pumpkin cider or is this apple cider with, ah, yes. This is, the first ingredient is apple juice, then sugar, then roasted pumpkin. And you can tell that. Um, I definitely smell something more than just apple cider. But the prominent, the dominant, the most present flavor here is apple juice. It smells like good apple juice. Uh, these are uh, One Tree Ciders are from Spokane, Washington. So Eastern Washington, there's tons of apples over there. And so they'd have access to good apples to produce this. It smells like a spiced apple cider with something a little more earthy going on. Once again, their use of the roasted pumpkin, that's probably where that earthiness is coming from. Hmm. 
Hmm. And yeah, it, it tastes like it smells. It tastes like a nice spiced apple cider with a little something extra going on. It's not unpleasant at all. There's cinnamon, there's, you know, traditional, uh, you know, pumpkin spice-like spices in here. Cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and you can taste all those. They're, they're integrated nicely. I would guess that the roasted pumpkin just kind of gives this body to it, this roasty body to it, which is quite pleasant. But I'm not saying that I can taste a pumpkin flavor per se in this. It's a very good flavor. It's a very tasty hard cider. It's definitely sweet. It's not dry at all. It's very much a sweet cider. Uh, very pleasant, very enjoyable. Like it quite a lot. Like it quite a lot. No, it's really thick, which I like. That's, I mean, it feels like it has body. So, so these both, um, both the uh, Great Gourds of Fire and the uh, One Tree Pumpkin Cider are both very kind of thick, uh, unctuous, kind of cool, chilly to cold fall day beers and ciders that highly recommend if you can find them. Uh, Hopworks is out of Portland, as I recall, or Oregon area. And uh, One Tree is out of Spokane, so you should be able to get it pretty much anywhere in the Northwest and possibly other places. Um, I usually pick these up at uh, Costco. They almost always have some rotating uh, One Tree cider in their area. Howling Gourds, I'd say pass. It's a novelty beer. It's the one that smells most like pumpkin, but it just has too many unpleasant extras to the flavor that make it not worth it. Um, but, you know, maybe... No, don't even bother. <laughs> Anyways, this is Matthew. I've been chewing the brew, drinking pumpkin beers. I'll catch y'all on the flip side.